Shalom and welcome back to the channel. All right, I got something for you. It's very important um, access term here. Many, many emails and messages from you guys about Bitcoin and the blockchain um, and what is going on with that. Uh, many of you concerned and with uh, you've got every reason to be uh, concerned, especially after you see what I have to show you here. So please share this video. Get the word out. Um, this is very critical. Uh, you are actually seeing the the final stages of the B system go into play. This infrastructure is taking years to put into place, folks. Um, I'm speaking about blockchain and Bitcoin, something I know a little bit about. Um, I first came in contact with it a few years ago when it was around, you know, a few dollars. Um, and then just past year, uh, I did invest some. We took some money as a way to sustain this ministry from the sale of our house and invested um we no longer have it in there and this is the reason why folks it's because it's the beast you are seeing something extraordinary take place with the artificial intelligence technology that's going on um let me just get right into it let me show you what i'm talking about this is blockchain the reason why i'm not using my camera today is because of the stream quality i want you to be able to hear me very clearly when i talk about this um blockchain is this uh, it's very hard to describe it is a monetary data entry uh, a way of recording this these transactions that are going on all around the world it's not centralized it's not backed by any bank um, it is constantly moving so all these transactions that are going on in cyberspace are constantly moving and the reason is to keep it from being hacked um, if we integrate the element of artificial intelligence we're going to have the beast and a what is what is basically an omnipresence power uh, if you think about it every device you have folks every iphone every phone um, every time you get into an elevator, every time you walk across the street, you're being tracked. And with all the technology and the infrastructure that has been put up now, the, all these um, scanners, you cannot go into Walmart without your face being scanned. You're putting in your personal information when you're checking out. Um, everything is being logged, folks. And you've been in the middle of this infrastructure for years and didn't know it. Now it is about to come alive, literally about to come alive with... Um, the integration of artificial intelligence. This is very serious. Look at this, guys. We have a live or comes alive in the yellow blockchain in the blue and a live right there. Now look at this. The two letters in the black and red right here with this yellow letter. That is the, the word beast. <laughs> it is also up here. It's the same word, the beast here. Uh, we have behold and then uh, those blue letters that span to the other side to where it has a gate that's a gate right there that is the word for image the image guys you know we're looking um at prophetical the, the prophetic narrative uh that there is an image that is used in this system that people are made to worship right gate is here a couple of times i know many of you are concerned about cern and what's going on there here is gate four times here uh doom is vertical in this um as well as another anomaly here which is i am coming i kid you not that's what says that uh abaddon is in here abaddon is the is literally the hebrew word for destruction it is commonly understood as this is the son of perdition uh the son of destruction and you have the word of for death in hebrew that crosses over that vav Abaddon is also here in um, the red. Uh, America is right there. Um, I do believe I found currency in here. I don't remember where, where it came up. But that, this is another form of alive or lives. Awaken is another way to, of using it. It's the same word down here. Awaken. Um, And then we have uh, an amazing anomaly here. This is not in the in the plain text as uh, a sentence, but um, if you permutate all of these letters, and it's a partial of, of one verse and on one side and on the other, you literally have, I am Raphael. 
Now, why is that significant? Well, because in the table that we have for um, who is the restrainer, when we were searching that out to see if we could figure out what who or what the restrainer was, some theorize that is the church, some theorize it is the Holy Spirit. But you sh you should be able to test these things out and to reconcile these prophecies and know what it means, right? So, in the process of searching out. Um, who is the restrainer? It was clear that there was a connection to Raphael. Um, and here he is here. I am Raphael. Um, let's look at a couple of the verses that I got highlighted in here. Hang tight. All right, so bear with me, guys. Um, going back to where it has doom, that is vertical. Uh, running right through there, you see in the blue you have Ephraim. Um, but I want to point out what I have highlighted there, which is, um, and all the people shall know, even Ephraim, um, know what? Well, what is going on? <laughs> that is what, look at this. This is all, this is all contained, by the way, in the prophets, mostly in Isaiah. It's a very small skip. Uh, we're in Isaiah 14 here. Uh, and it's about the fallen of Lucifer. How thou art fallen, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations. Um, of course, it's verse 9 is where it starts. Hell from beneath has moved thee, and to meet thee at thy coming, it stirred up the dead for thee. Um, they're trying to summon demons, folks, to inhabit the AI. This is right out of the mouth of the, the designers. You have the word Raphaim in there, which is um, which is the dead, the the demons, the disembodied Nephilim, is what that word is. <clears throat> I highlighted this because this is something to cling to from Isaiah twenty six four. Uh, Trust ye in Yahuwah forever, for in Adonai Yahuwah is everlasting life, and that is true. And then down here um, was Jeremiah running through the uh, Abaddon and death anomaly. And it is around uh, chapter 4. And I have um, part of verse 7 highlighted there because of what it said. Which is, uh, the destroyer of the Gentiles is on its way. And there it is. And then, of course, ver chapter uh, verse 8. For this gird you with sackcloth and lament and howl, for the fierce anger of Yahua is not turned back from us. Um, and then we have Sophia is also in this table. So very interesting anomaly that appears very small area in the prophets about the end times, folks. And it's, uh, it's something to take very serious because... Uh, this technology is the B system where I'm cross-referencing this data with other tables that I have, like the Mark of the Beast and a couple of others, and everything is coming back. Um, it's directly connected to the B. So be aware. Stay away from the Bitcoin. I know it's very tem tempting right now. It has gone through the roof, but I promise you it is a trap. It's a pitfall. It's a, it's, it's a way to uh, obtain your wealth. Take your money. Don't get into the Bitcoin. It is a trap. Most of um, the, the transactions out there are uh, oriented around scams and Ponzi schemes. So um, the best thing you can do is invest in gold. Do not go into Bitcoin. That is your warning from Code Searcher. Shalom. Yeshua bless you guys.